So this is a demonstration of what noise suppression using a neural network can sound like on Windows. Now, many of you may be familiar with NVIDIA's RTX voice, which generated quite a lot of hype, but a lot of people don't realize that there are perfectly viable and pretty good open source solutions which use very little in the way of system resources as well, which is really nice. As we can see here, my CPU usage is about 3% of one core, which is, well, it's fine. You know, it's, it's very little usage. So, uh, so for a demonstration of what this noise suppression plugin sounds like, I'm first going to turn it off and just do a few basic things so that you can hear the difference. So the suppression plugin is now off, and you can probably hear a little bit of background noise. If I stop talking, you should most certainly hear it. So I'm definitely seeing some spikes on the waveform just from background noise, probably from the fans on the PC. Uh, next, I'm just going to type some stuff right here. You can see me typing. And again, I can see that spiking on the, um, on the waveform for the recording of this video. Um, and I'm going to bang on the desk a little bit so you can hear that. There we go. Now, I'm going to do the same thing with noise suppression activated. So again, now I'm going to do some typing. Now, it doesn't look like it eliminates the noise completely, but I can definitely see that the spikes on the waveform are much lower. And I'm now going to bang on the desk so you can hear that too. And that's a much lower impact as well, I'm noticing. So that's that's great, you know. And that's that's really what it sounds like. So to get this installed, what you're going to want to do is download APO Equalizer and um, the algorithm. So I go ahead here and download it and save it. There we go. And then let's go to the release page and grab the binary for Windows X64 for the actual neural network that will do the noise suppression. So we'll save that and I'll put that on my desktop as well. And there we go. So now I'll go to the desktop and I'll extract both. So I'll extract equalizer first and we just go ahead and extract that. And I don't need to see the file. So just untick that. Do the same for this as well. Extract that. So we've got both of them extracted. Now let's install equalizer APO. So yeah, next. I agree. Next. We've all installed these before. Install. Yeah, great. Now we can see the devices we want to apply the filter to. So I'm going to select capture devices and I'm going to go down to the microphone I want to apply this to. Make sure the tick's applied next to it. So for this, it's a Samsung CO1U. So I hit the tick there and close. And we just ignore that. I don't want to reboot, so we'll reboot later and finish. Okay, great. So now what we need to do is we need to copy the neural network VST plugin, which can be found in this folder here that you've extracted. You want to browse to bin VST, which I show you there, and then right click, copy, and then you're going to want to paste this into your APO equalizer install folder, which is in C program files, equalizer APO and VST plugins, which we can see here. So right click, paste it in, it'll ask you for permission. Yes, go ahead. And that's it. That's all the files you need to get set up with this. And now what you want to do is open the equalizer configurator. So we can do that by just scrolling down in the start menu to the equalizer APO and go into configuration editor. We can select no for that. It doesn't really have any impact. Uh, what we want to do here is just remove these current filters. We don't need them. They're completely useless for what we're doing. You may have a need to do it in the future, but we don't need to worry about that now. So go ahead and click add. We'll go down to plugins, VST plugin, and we'll click the folder for open and select the plugin that we just extracted, which is right here. And that's located in C program files, equalizer, APO, VST plugin. So click it and then click open. And that's it. We now have that installed and you can toggle it on and off with this power on and off button. Oh, I almost forgot to mention as well, we do need to select a device as the microphone that we want to use. So in this case, we go to uh, device here and we hit the drop down and select the mic. And that's it. You're installed. You're ready to go. You may need to reboot, 
but if you do, go ahead. And that's it. Enjoy your noise suppression. <laughs>